Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is, do you read novellas that are included in a series? Now, I'm going to interpret that as being about short works that don't form part of the main arc of a series. So, 20,000 words on what happened to two of the secondary characters while they were off page. The backstory of the lead character's mentor before the series started and such. So, yes I do. I read novellas that are included in a series. I read series. I read serial packets. I read everything. So, Yes, I read novellas that are part of a series, but I don't usually actively seek them out. If I'm reading a series, I'll read the books in order, starting with book one, if at all possible, although I might skip a volume if I can't find a volume of a series for sale somewhere or the series isn't enthralling enough that I want to own it forever and ever so I'm reading it from the library but I won't seek out the diversions and unless I've read the entire series and really loved it or see one of the diversions on the shelf which raises my very minor point of irritation with these spur off novellas which is not indicating their location so i'm reading a series and i come across a novella and it doesn't say where in the series it comes you can tell it's from the series because it says a spibble doohickey story or whatever on the cover and you read the blurb and you can kind of work out well it's got this character as the main character so it takes place prior to their death if they've died but if it's a character who turns up halfway through the series it could be set prior to any point they turn up in the series. It could be set at any point between when they first turn up in the series and their death. If it comes to urban fantasy, potentially the fact that they died in book two isn't a boundary to there being a novella about them that's set during the time of book four after they've come back to life in book three. So I'm sometimes wary of reading a novella if I don't have any information on where it comes in the series. And because I don't have a mobile phone, I can't usually check if I'm in a bookshop or the library where it is unless it's on the cover or physically somewhere in the book where it comes. Which raises a second niggle that sits halfway between typesetting and online book sites that not all books when they do say where they come say following a coherent pattern so volume 1.5 uh, that's fair enough. You go, well, that'll go between volumes one and two. But then you discover maybe it's just the second half of volume one. So there's no coherency there. And even if there is a coherent pattern that you can guess at and work, not all book sites will handle it. Not all sites will let you list fractions as part of your series number so you can have volume one as the volume number volume two volume three and so on and then you have a prequel 
first prequel, you go, well, it comes before volume one, so we'll call that volume naught. Maybe they handle that, maybe they don't. And then you go, well, it's a novella that comes between two and three, so we'll call that 2.5. They don't handle it because it's not a whole number. And this might seem trivial, and I am looking at a series because I've got access to a book site. It's useful to have them listed in order to have that objective measure so I don't have to go through reviews looking for where it comes because as soon as I start going through reviews I risk hitting the spoilers that I'm trying to avoid by reading the books in the right order. So yes I read novellas that are included in a series but I'd prefer if there were an internationally accepted standard for how you indicated where a novel or novella came when slotted in parallel to an existing series. And I'd like book sites to have the facility to list that as data I can get without needing to go through text reviews. So, I think that's me for today. Toodaloo!